Welcome to NetSuite's Sweet Success Financials First Premium Edition. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the creation of an amortization template and the association of that template to a vendor bill in order to defer an insurance expense into a prepaid insurance account. Once the reusable template is created, we'll show the automated journal entries that are created by running the amortization process over time. We'll start in the controller dashboard. Here we see an example of the amortization template. When this template is used correctly, an amortization schedule is created upon the saving of the expense transaction. Amortization schedules are generated for vendor bills and credits containing items or expenses that have associated amortization templates. When the vendor bill or credit is saved with the amortization template associated with the expense line, the transaction applies the rules from the template and generates the forward-looking schedule. Each schedule indicates the posting periods in which expenses should be recognized, as well as the amount to be recognized in each period based on the logic held in the template. Note that we've selected the straight line by even periods method. Here we see that the deferral count is 1410 prepaid insurance, also known as the contra asset account. We have selected the amortization target account, 6310 insurance expense, and we have set the amortization period equal to 12 months. Let's look at an example. Now that we have the template, we can apply it to a vendor bill. In order to correctly amortize this expense, an amortization template was specified on the line item of the expense transaction record, and when the record was saved, NetSuite creates the schedule in its place as we see here on the line item. Also notice that the GL impact of the transaction has been altered to debit the prepaid account. Note here that the amortization schedule was created from the amortization template, Annual Prepaid Insurance. Here's where we see the automation of future period postings and the reusable nature of the template. These amortization schedules provide the information required to amortize expenses, but we must generate these amortization journal entries to post expenses to the general ledger. Amortization schedules provide a basis for the generation of journal entries to post the recurring impact to the general ledger. As you'll see, I can use the Create Amortization Journal Entries page to create the periodic journal entries that post deferred expenses. This page lists amounts from all schedules that are due to post. Amortization journal entries for vendor bills typically debit expense accounts and credit deferred or prepaid expense accounts. I'll select a posting period to display the schedules with unposted amortization journal entries for that period. In the Journal Entry Date field, I set the transaction date of amortization journal entries I'm creating. After I have filtered the list to select individual schedules, I can check the box in the Select column next to each schedule I'll want to include in the journal entry. When I click Create Journal Entries, NetSuite will create one journal entry for all schedules that are marked. On the Create Journal Entries status page, we can do the following. We can click Refresh to update the status if needed. When the percent complete is 100% in the status column, we can click Complete. Now that we've finished and are on the Processed Schedules page, in the Journal column, we can click the links to view individual amortization journals created through this automated process. That concludes our very brief look at a simple Financials First expense amortization process. 